Hello guys, I know it's been a while, but there have been several recent improvements regarding RPCS3, so I thought I'd bring you up to speed on some games that are finally booting as well as highlight some new features. First of all, the MSAA anti-aliasing has been rewritten and there's been a fix implemented for depth scaling. This fixes several games that had issues displaying correctly where the graphics were squished to one half of the screen. SPU analyzer improvements have also been added. This means potentially huge performance boosts, but at the cost of stability. Added are safe, mega, and giga modes, which load chunks of code differently. While I didn't notice any substantial frame rate increases in the games I've tested, it's nice to have more options to work with, and your experience may yield better results. A new option which aims to reduce stuttering from compiling the shader cache has also been added, called the Async Shader Compiler. Now RPCS3 will load many textures on the fly, which can cause texture pop-in, but I feel its pros outweigh the cons when compared to the older method which constantly halted the action. You can, however, disable this new method if it's not to your liking. Several new titles are now playable, such as Sly Cooper 1, 2, and 3, Wheels of Destruction, and Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Games that now boot in-game include Yakuza Kenzen, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Final Fantasy 13, 13 2, and Lightning Returns, and Resistance 3. Tekken Tag Tournament held an average of about 40 FPS, but the music doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I couldn't find a copy of Resistance 3, but the first Resistance also ran at a high frame rate, although graphical glitches kept it from being playable. Persona 5 finally runs at a playable frame rate for me, nearing a constant 30 FPS, but Uncharted stayed around 5 to 7 frames per second. I've seen others post videos achieving better performance, but my machine isn't exactly high-end. My specs will be in the description if you would like to compare your PC setup with mine. Remember that the PS3 is a ridiculously complicated piece of hardware to emulate. I've only been using RPCS3 for about a year, and the improvements in such a short period of time have shattered my expectations, and I'm thankful to everyone who has contributed to this emulator. What are your thoughts on the current status of RPCS3? Are there any games that you would like to see me test out? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.